so they can be more informed because for some reason the word is just not out in Red Bank and, and me from Range, we're trying as hard as we can but we need support from you to, to really be successful with that. Um, I had a whole speech written but I'm not gonna because I, I can see that you understand the ramifications of this project so I'm not gonna talk about it but I, I, I will urge you to please join the fight with the other towns it is important you're the last piece of the puzzle and we can probably win this um, but I would like to um, just let the rest of the, the folks know here that um, New Jersey Transit is having a board meeting um, on October 13th at 9 a.m. in Newark at One Penn Plaza and um, Rage Residents Against Giant Electric who is fighting this this project uh, plans on getting as many people as possible to go to this board meeting and speak our minds and ask them to say no to JCPNL because they have the power to stop this from happening without us having to hire lawyers or go to court. If they say no, this project goes away. So I'm asking all of you, if you're available on October 13th, to please get on the train early in the morning get to Newark by 8.30, sign in, go to that meeting, express your dislike to this project and how badly it's going to affect all of our towns. And um, if you can't make it, or even if you can, we actually have a pre-written letter to New Jersey Transit asking them to help us. And everybody, before you leave, if you'd like to sign one, we're gonna bring a stack of those with us to show them how many people are against this so if you'd like to sign one, we're going to have that when you're leaving. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just add something? Anybody else? Oh. Can I just add something to hers? I just want you to know that it's not just the residents of uh, the towns that are going to this meeting. It's Congressman Chris Smith. It's Congressman Cologne. It's Senator Carrillos. It's Senator Beck. It's Assemblywoman Amy Hanlon. Today I just met with Senator Bob Smith. I just called Cory Booker. He's going to go. So it, this is serious. This is not just us asking you to do it. This is big. And if you want to learn more about it, please go to our website at www.stopjcpl.org. Call anybody. We are happy to explain it to anybody who needs more information. Thanks. Mr. Boyd. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I just want to say, uh, Sunday I was over in uh, Middletown, all black line now. And, uh, it was a real good turnout. It was about, oh, I'm sorry. Good. It was about 200 some people's turnout over there, and it was a real nice uh, affair, I tell you. Uh, I just want to say, Mr. Zippers, we can't hear you way in the back. Uh, speaking sometime. We was trying to get your attention. His microphone isn't working and he's using my Oh, okay. But we couldn't hear you back there. The other thing is, uh, Mr. Sipples, uh, did you follow up on that other thing, the parking? Uh, yeah. Huh? Parking. Well, I bring it up. Speak I, to I, the microphone. They can't hear you. Okay. I, I hate to bring it up in front of the man. Mr. Bennett, uh, on Bank Street, it was brought to my attention several times. We have a vehicle down there. When you come off of Layton, turn on the uh, Bank Street, make a right. There's a truck for sale. And there's no tags. It's in the road. It's been like that for two weeks. No tags on the front. There's no, no plates on the front. Of the no back. plates on the front. That's a truck for sale. It's just sitting there. been sitting there. And uh, there. Uh, on the front and, it, and, and in the back, no plates. I mentioned it, I don't want to mention the name, but I spoke to one of the police officers. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear I spoke to one of the police officers to go check it out because somebody had told me about it. And uh, I walked down there, the truck was still there, no tag, I made mean, uh, no ticket on it or nothing. Well, I, uh, I, I think there's a difficulty in issuing a ticket, but I don't see any difficulty in telling it about it. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, I, what happened, he took the tags I mean, off of that truck and put them on another truck. No, no, what I'm saying is that I think we can take some action. Oh, I'm not uh, sure it's, it's been sitting there. Yeah, I brought it to Mr. Sippers attention uh, last week. And and yeah, he was supposed to get back here. Well, I spoke to Mr. Sippers on it. And, uh, Stanley. 
I I spoke to him. Well, I spoke to him about it and it seemed like it didn't get done. Okay. So I hate to come to the council there. meeting and bring it up, you know what I mean? And uh, the other thing is, uh, Mrs. Stanley, I know you're doing a lot of building up around here in town, but we never had a boat ramp built that River Group paid for. And uh, you say that money is in escrow. I, why is that money still sitting in escrow and you can't use it on the west side or wherever? Uh, I'm just saying, what, we can't find a place over here for a boat ramp? The, the money is dedicated for a boat ramp. And the problem is the location for a boat ramp. When that money was given, there, there was a talk about acquiring property where there was a boat ramp, and then that property never went away and was not for sale yet. Now the question is where? Uh, we may be able to use it when we do uh, uh, redevelop the Sunset uh, Landfill site. It's talking about putting that some sort of a, maybe a, an access point there. Uh, but the money is still in escrow. It's in the but you have a lot of interest on it now. <laughs> well, it's, it's still in escrow. The other thing, I ain't gonna hold you up this minute. The other thing is, I know the last council meeting you wasn't here, but the one before that. We spoke, and we spoke to the young man to get back to you about the crosswalks, and uh, did look into that. Have As a matter of fact, I directed the uh, public works director to meet with the chief about the port or, or public safety to see where they could be put in, in terms of uh, painting as well as slow down vehicles, children paint. But I don't know whether that anything was done on it, but I did tell them. I'm being on shoes bad now. No, I was talking about the side streets, Lincoln Avenue and the side streets. Yeah, but I know the last time we, we spoke about Shoes Bay Avenue and you said you would have the engineer to look at it. No, no, okay, that's a different issue. Yes, yeah. I, as a matter of fact, last Thursday I did meet, uh, when he was here, right back, the county engineer, which is uh, uh, Joe Ator, and Joe said that he was working on a plan for a traffic call that would be presented on the Now, the other day, I know y'all going into this section. I would like to speak real quick. I, I don't want to bring it out here. I want to speak to you and stand here. And the chief, if you don't mind. We'll have to take it. I mean, if the girl turned out to be present, she could be part of We've been sitting here since five. Okay, in just two minutes. Thank you. Anybody else? Mr. Scabo. Friday before uh, Jim speaks, uh, please we'll look at that part tonight. We'll look, we'll look check it out tonight. We'll have the answer to you tomorrow. Uh, Councilman Whalen mentioned the Oyster Festival, and uh, first of all, thank you uh, for that. Uh, I just want to publicly thank uh, the police department, uh, Chief McConnell, as well as DPW uh, and Mr. Keene for the tremendous, tremendous job they did with the extra security that we felt we had to put in place for the event. Uh, following you know the unfortunate uh, incidences the week before in New Jersey and New York um, they were uh, top-notch and totally professional and uh, we really appreciate the support and the extra help that you gave us so thank you very much thank you, Mr. Thanks, anybody else if not um, there is a need for an executive session to discuss contract issues uh, and property so, uh, motion to adjourn to the executive session. So, no formal action. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. We'll take a two minute break.